A coroner's jury has weighed in tonight after an unimaginable tragedy in Saskatchewan. Two years ago, six-year-old Lee Bonneau was beaten to death, and police say a 10-year-old did it, a boy too young to be charged or tried. As Bonnie Allen reports, it seems there may have been missed opportunities to intervene before the attack. Lee Bonneau, a shy and quiet six-year-old, was brutally beaten to death. He had wandered away from his foster mother, who was playing bingo on the Kakawishtahau First Nation. Police believed from the start that a 10-year-old boy known to be troubled and violent was responsible. The community is shocked. The community is overwhelmed. Now, a coroner's jury has heard eight days of testimony from 27 witnesses. It became clear the 10-year-old, identified only as LT, did not get the help he needed before the killing that the jury really considered that the system failed two families and two kids. LT's serious problems began when he was six. There were nine complaints he had touched or assaulted children sexually. When he was eight, police say he killed a pregnant dog. The First Nation Child Welfare Agency received numerous warnings. The boys' school wrote three letters pleading for help. RCMP filed reports and made phone calls. Yet caseworkers rarely followed up. In total, 16 different caseworkers handled files related to LT, yet only one actually interviewed him. When he did, LT reported hearing voices. LT also has severe fetal alcohol syndrome, yet it went undiagnosed until just months before this incident. The jury made 19 recommendations telling child welfare agencies they need to respond faster and keep better records. It called for more services to help children with mental illnesses and fetal alcohol syndrome. Uh, many of the things that were raised over the course of the inquest were things that the uh, agency had already identified and had been working to improve. As for LT, He's receiving the care and the treatment that, that he likely should have received a very long time ago. He's getting 24-hour supervised care in a facility and help from a psychiatrist. Bonnie Allen, CBC News, Regina.